hey guys welcome back to the channel today we got another diy project here on the overland trailer tag along uh, today we're going to be installing this 12 inches by 30 inch uh, stainless steel table this is actually a shelf that's made to go into like a commercial kitchen uh, it's made to mount on the wall it had came with uh, some stainless steel brackets uh, for wall mount we're going to be making it with a continuous hinge on the back side and where we can fold it up when it's not in use against the back side of the tire carrier. It'll be in between the tire carrier and the back door. So let me show you where we're at. All right, guys, last weekend when we were out camping, we figured out that uh, it'd be really nice to have a a little table here to set a plate or maybe set a utensil on while we're over here cooking on the cowboy walk because uh, that's kind of where we end up setting it and it just kind of be real convenient and uh, there's plenty of room for this this to go on here it's going to be a little low but uh but that'll be fine it'll still it'll be still beneficial for us um, so we're going to put it right there and then it's going to fold up it's going to fold up right behind the tire actually you'll be able to see a little bit of it of course you know from behind um, you'll be able to see a little bit of the same still but who cares so idea is what we're going to do here it comes with a little backsplash we don't need that um, we're going to take a grinder cut that off we're going to take rivets and rivet the 30 inch continuous hinge on and do the same thing to the tire carrier and uh, it's going to be supported we're going to support it with some uh, steel cable that will anchor up here up the top and with that same anchor point for the cable we're going to put a pin in here that's going to hold it up so let's get at it all right guys so here's what we're going to be using today for this project we have some steel cable i think it's eighth inch we got some uh ferro leads that you crimp on there i think that's what you call them um, to make loops or ends um, we got some crimpers for those we have a rivet gun and some rivets we got some cutters to cut the cable, some drill bits for the rivets. We have a, a uh, grinder with a cutoff wheel that we're going to be cutting that back splash off, and a drill. And uh, these are what we're going to be using for the to latch it shut. So we got two of those, one for each side. We've got a couple of chain links that we cut in half. Those are going to be used for the eyelets <laughs> for the uh, cable and the pins and just a measuring stick so let's get it all right guys first order of business is get rid of this uh, one inch backsplash that's on here we don't need that so we're going to be using a grinder and a cutoff wheel we're just going to go right in the edge of that crease on the back side and let's get her off Take a grinder and we're gonna clean up that back side so it ain't sharp. Alright guys, let's go ahead and see if we can get this hinge up here and get a few holes mar uh, marked. Drill a few holes for the rivets and uh, see if we can get this attached all right so 
Just make sure you have the hinge turned the correct way. We may have to trim that off just a hair. Yeah. Uh, make sure your hinge is the way you need it. Because it'll only go flat one way. Uh, so ours will be like that. And it will be folding up. So we want it like this. It's not going to fit inside here. It's uh, just a hair long. So I'm going to take just like a blade width off of one side. Just make, make sure it'll go in. Just gonna make a take my marker here and I'm gonna mark I'm gonna mark one here to start out with and we're gonna start drilling some holes we'll get one rivet in and we'll just kind of work our way down And I'll probably skip every other hole there or so. So I want the, I think I want the hinge on the bottom side. And I want the rivet, the head, the smooth part being on the top side. So we're going to flip it over. All right, I'm gonna start going down through and drilling, drilling some holes. guys that's the hinge and uh, all we need to do is find center on this hinge and table which it is 30 inches long so right all right let's get it marked out and ready on the uh, Tire carrier. Alright guys, now we're ready to go ahead and attach that piano hinge to the back side of the uh, tire carrier here. We got it centered with the center of the tire carrier and 
we got a clamp up here that's going to help hold it and uh, I am just going to try to get it somewhat level here and get a couple of these marked like that we'll have one more down here it's right where that's at but yeah. I'll drill it later All right. so I'm going to go ahead and drill drill these holes that we marked out here go ahead and put it up here and see if we can get it stuck up here we're using uh, a little bit different size rivet to this metal here's a lot thicker and I keep dropping that one All right. Let's see if we can get one right here in the middle And that guy does not him. Yeah, him. A little persuasion, I think. Man, he needed a lot of persuasion. one many more to go Get that grinder and cut that one there off. All right, guys. So now we're needing to put the the little chain links that I cut. We're going to put these right on the back side here, and there will be a piece of cable going from here to here. And also, we're going to put those. Oh, about a half inch out from the table edge somewhere right about there and uh, we're gonna put a pin through here to hold it up when we're not in use so let's uh, go ahead and mark give me something to, uh, I can use this tape measure I'm going to go ahead and mark a uh, half inch and that's where we'll Alright, let's go ahead and get these chain links welded on guys now that we got the little eyelets on here let's go ahead and get us a hole drilled down here on the bottom uh, for the cable to wrap around for the bottom side here on the table 
So we're going to go right about here. We'll go half inch up from the bottom, right where that rolls over. We'll break out right there. Same thing on the other side. Let's go ahead and get our, our uh, I don't know what they call these. Feral. Ferals. Mm -hmm. Get these ferals put on. So we're going to go ahead and slide one on, make our loop, and crimp the other end in. These things are super tight, so good luck getting them in. Okay, something like that, and we'll take some crimpers. These ain't, these crimpers aren't made for these, but we're gonna, they're gonna work today. I think I do have a pair of crimpers for these somewhere. There we go. Right. Now here's where we need to get the table level. Hmm. Get these in here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and we got the top one on here. Uh, let's go ahead and get it crimped on. it'll be all right it's not like it's gonna be it's not gonna have a lot of weight on it i mean it shouldn't be sitting on it yeah you know i probably want to huh i probably might want to oh, i know you will You're probably <laughs> break too. whatever all right one more I think Hope just wants to take a nap. I hope she's not going to let you, Hope.
Yeah, you guys are gonna do anything? Does that stand there? No? Okay. Play. Sicker. Get her. Get her. Alright guys, here's the the little pin that we got to pin it closed. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little short cable on it. Hang it from the same eyelet that we got here. Um, so we don't lose these. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, get us a hole drilled for our pin. all right guys that finishes up the table uh, i think it'll be a great addition to our kitchen setup it'll give us plenty of room for uh, a couple of dishes and some uh some utensils while we're cooking here on the uh on the uh, cowboy walk so uh Glad y'all could join us and hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, again, just please ask and uh, y'all have a blessed week. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.